Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to unbox the T9 Smart Box. As you can see right here we have the T9 box. We have some specification here. As you can see the CPU and the other information are in the box. So let's go ahead open up real quick. You can see right here we have the T9 wrapped up with plastic protection. Underneath we have the HDMI cable, the power brick as you can see right here, we have the pilot and other stuff. Here we have the HDMI cable as I said. We have the user manual as well as the controller. We have here the controller with not too many button buttons, but okay, it's colorful and good. We have here the T9 with this camo theme going. You can see it's very beautiful, very thin and light. We have the internet, HD, power and two USB ports as well as other things as you can see in the back are all the ports that are necessary underneath we have some information you can see the codes and the names the name of the smart box here we have the user manual as usual in this user manual we can see all the connections where the cables go how to connect it and also we will find the controller buttons what they do so after we connect it we are waiting for t92 power on you can see right here the slideshow or how you want to call this performance of T9 starting up now the T9 that is starts up we can see we have videos browser file browser apps music settings play store plain memory and we have this quick app finder we can select some of the apps that we use the most it will be in uh, the first page or the first screen so we don't have to go and find our apps in all the apps that are in this smart box so you can see it's very easy very good to use not so complicated here are all the apps that the smart box have these are apps that are already installed we installed the Antutu app per usual we do always test our smart boxes with Antutu app also the A.64 you can see here in the settings we have network you can see here the Wi-Fi when you have to connect it Next we have Bluetooth, in case you want to connect your device with other Bluetooth devices, for example other controls, controllers. We have here sound, next we have display, here in display we have multiple choices to make. We have the zoom in and zoom out option, we have the color options and other things. So you have to go and customize your own pref for your own preference and for your own TV or monitor whatever you're using. You can see right here you can adjust your display positioning. Here you have your brightness, contrast and color th things. You can see how it changes. We are going to leave like default next we have apps as you can see right here we have all the apps that are in the smart box 
you can control them see right here installed and uninstalled from here we have here app permission so these are basic settings for an Android next we have the screensaver as you can see right here you can turn on and off the screensaver so basically the T9 has multiple options not just for screensaver but for everything so you have to go through them one by one see for yourself and customize it for your own preference as you can see right here we have the storage you can check out the storage see how many megabytes or gigabytes the apps take photos and other things next we have about here you can read about your smart box you have your version android version and other information about your smart box As you can see we don't have any updates at all you can see all of necessary information will be right here we have the version the model Android version and all these kind of stuff Here we have date and time. Next we have language, keyboard. So as I said before, you have plenty of options. So you have to go through them, see what they have. You can turn things on and off. We have here Google, you have to open your account here. We have accessibilities. As you can see the captioning options that you can turn on. Next we have the settings you can see right here. And in case you want to connect an accessories you can do it right here we have location security and last but not least we have the choices of accounts you can open up accounts without any problem right here you can see we are back at the apps or at the menu how you want to call it we have all the apps that are installed in this smart box in case you want to install more you can go ahead in the play store open up your account and download more stuff and whatever you want this is the ADA64 you saw in our previous videos. In this app you will find all kinds of information about your small box. Starting from system, CPU, display, battery, Android and much many more stuff. In this app you will find all kinds of stuff. If you watch our videos you probably know this we use this app to know our smart box better all kinds of information about your smart box will be found right here in the ADA64 also we use another app that is for root
you can see right here root check so basically this does the same thing as the ADA we have less information here but this works good as well you can see all the apps that are installed we have Netflix and other stuff we can see here the airplay we have the Antutu app so let's give it a try see how the T9 will perform we already run a test you saw the numbers let's give it a try again see how it will perform you can see the numbers right here and we have all the results saved as always we have the CPU GPU and other stuff we can see the result right here as I said they are all saved so then to to add test is the GPU and the graphics and all these kind of stuff so the Antutu app makes a really good test for your device we have here now the color test this, uh, this tests the display so these tests base basically test the display we don't have anything much to see here we saw the results we have all kinds of information in the Antutu app as well so you have to go ahead and check for yourself in your own smart box to see all these kind of details Now we are back at the menu, you can see we open up another app, this app serves like the play store, we can download stuff here, we use this one and the app to it as well. So basically these are the apps that are more likely to function better than the others. We test this one, we download stuff here and it works pretty good so why not show you the whole thing. As you can see it pounds the apps really good and real fast. Let's head back. You can see right now we have to test the Aptoid as well as I said. We use this app for a while now, we download stuff here and honestly it works pretty good. It never lagged or anything else, every time we use it, it worked pretty good. So that's, that is for Aptoid. You can see it open if it opens up the apps real fast. Also, if you don't have any trouble with Wi-Fi, it will download stuff real fast as well. Now we are back at the menu again. Let's test another app. We have here the information check. Of the Play Store you can see right here we have the Google Chrome as well we use Google Chrome in our devices it works perfect you can see how fast it opens up everything works pretty good in the Google Chrome as well so we don't think we have anything special here 
back at the menu again let's open up the live net tv this is an app that we always try and show you in our smart boxes so this app has all kinds of channels starting from entertainment news sports movies information and also it has channels with uh, different languages starting from german as you can see portuguese indonesian and all kinds of uh, language channels it's very good it works we can't open up most of these uh, channels because of the copyright so it definitely works we always download in our smart boxes but you can download your favorite apps like that you can use it here is another one it has channels for news sports movies tv shows and all kinds of stuff very useful and very good it works perfectly all the movies works good you can see tv serials and all kinds of stuff they open up immediately so that is another app for tv shows or channels we are back at the menu again we saw these two apps for channels unfortunately we can't open up but they work i've been using them you have you can test for yourself here we can see the amazon prime we have the amazon other devices we have netflix here you just have to send, sign up you will use netflix without any problem we have google music as well youtube and other stuff let's go ahead to the youtube now and test it we always test our devices with 4k videos from youtube let's see how they will perform in this case we test the youtube and we test our display here let's play the first video as you can see it's 4k 60 fps and immediately it turns on the video without lagging without any problem good quality it's going very smooth and it's going the way it should so I don't think it has any problem so in case anyone has the T9 or other small box that has problem with anything comment down below let me know maybe we learn about your experience so in this case everything is working like it should let's get back again to the menu we can see here all the apps we have the system tool as we saw before this is very useful sometimes we have the file explorer here you can see the internal flash SD card USB that you have you can, as you can see we have three videos that we upload uh, always in our smart boxes in this case we can test the Wi-Fi videos also the videos that are downloaded this video is 4k also you can see how smooth it goes it's not lagging so you can upload videos from your flat from USB or SD card however you like everything is going very good very smoothly you can see even if you rush the video it not will stop and that is a benefit of the t9 and other smart boxes as well so guys this was all for today's video thank you very much for your time and support hit the like button subscribe our channel keep supporting us and we will bring another video with other smart boxes hit the like button and share this video with your friends